How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Asus ZenBook Flip 14. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 17.8 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop upside down. First, use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 8 screws from the bottom cover. Then, use a PH1 screwdriver to remove two more screws. It's recommended to use a magnetic mat to avoid confusion or loss of screws. To open the chassis, prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Start at the corners and pry along the edges to open the bottom cover. Once the bottom cover is removed, use two spudgers to detach the power cable. Remove the metal clips. Place the spudgers on both sides of the connector and gently pull out the power cable. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the six screws securing the power unit, and then the power unit can be removed. After removing the power unit, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Remove the white ribbon cable. And then remove the network card and the SSD. Next, use a spudger to remove the fan's power cable. Move to the left fan and use a PH0 screwdriver to remove three screws, and do the same for the right fan. Now, for the center cooling module, remove for screws following a diagonal pattern. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Now, you can lift the entire cooling module. After that, remove the fan. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use an anti-static brush and compressed air to clean the dust from the cooling module, fans, and back panel, and also clean the dust from the cooling module's exhaust. When using compressed air, remember to keep a short distance to avoid liquid spray. Compressed air helps to clean the finer details and greatly improves dust removal efficiency. Don't forget to clean the dust from the metal clips and the inside of the chassis as well. Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. 
Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, reassemble the cooling module, taking care not to press the ribbon cables. Screw the three screws back into the left fan. For the center cooling module, screw the four screws back in following a diagonal pattern. First, tighten the screws in numerical order to about 70%, and once all screws are in place, tighten them fully to avoid excessive force. The right fan should also be secured with three screws. Next, reinstall the network card and the SSD. Reconnect the ribbon cable. Now, reinstall the power unit and use a PH0 screwdriver to screw the six screws back into the power unit. Don't forget to reconnect the fan power cables. Use the spudger to reconnect the power cable, then check if the laptop boots up properly. Finally, cover the bottom with the bottom cover and screw the 10 screws back in. Then reattach the anti slip pads. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.